Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Sunday, August 18th, 2024. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and let's get started. So first thing I want to I want to say is the, you know, I really shouldn't have been throwing out any types of trades last week. Uh, I really was not mentally there just because of all this, this situation that I was telling you about with my, my good friend. So so that, you know, I, I they looked like they were kind of conservative trades that we were making being it was uh you know we were getting into positions that was some 80 points above where the current rally was and just didn't really see that they were going to be gapping it up and, and moving it that high but i really should have uh seen it and and here's one of the reasons uh so this is our our um uh, our trend indicator here. So really, the 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 rule that that has to be followed, and I, like I said, I I just really wasn't all there last week. Is that when this is in a buy signal? Let's call this our our uh, primary trend on it because I don't want to do a daily on the daily part. I mean, you can do it, but what happens is the. Uh, you just get too big a pullbacks when it, when it's going to switch over to a sell signal. So, I mean, we can end up giving up 50, 60 points on the S&P before it triggers a daily sell signal. Now, on the 60-minute, no, that's not that way because right now we're at 50, 55, 54. This looks like it would have to get right around about 20 points lower. But if we just follow the, the line here and instead of, you know, look, you know when I was – looking to get this, uh, you know, the, uh, the put spread that was all the way up here, you know, we don't run into this. It should have been a call spread that we were, uh, that, that was being, actually it was a call spread that we sold. There was a put spread that we should have done. And, um, you know, really the way it is, the way that I'm, uh, you know, I, I have it, I'm, planning on doing it with uh you know the the um fun part is exactly this we just got everything all started up on that and are going to start trading tomorrow but in any case really this is it we follow this trend it, until it changes but you could get in and out of trades uh using the 15 minute so here you can see let me just break this get this a little bit wider here um bear with me one second Okay, so even on the 15 minute chart, you know, if we look, we've only had uh, really there's there was just one little tiny blip right here that we went into a sell signal, but then it's been on, on a buy signal ever since. So again, if just following these and, and uh, you know, you could use these for entry, we can use these for exits, but really the exit part that I would be, I'm looking for uh, that I want to be trying, and, and it, some of this is going to be trial and error just as far as uh the you know the and you which time frame to use for the entries but the 15 minute chart has been telling us right here that we've been on a buy signal here you can see we made we made this buy signal geez going all the way back to uh August 8th and it's never it's never triggered a sell signal so this is you know again just following this and um if you know but here you can see we also want to use the, you know that, that that's just the ai stuff what we really want to you know we, we it's you have to use a combination of both the ai as well as regular technical analysis so here you know and that's using wave structures but here you can see we have bearish divergences here so even though we're on a buy signal uh here you really i mean as far as possibly even taking you know if you're long taking profits or just waiting for the next bill uh a buy signal to add to it and i mean again what we do is we just follow the 60 minutes so once we can trade off at a 15 so when this goes on a sell we get out of our position uh when it's in a buy we get long short or in a, if it's in a, a sell signal then we just will run on the short side but you can see what i was explaining uh to members was that this is going to be the heavy resistance and this is the line in the sand that the that the the bears have to defend otherwise we're we're going to be have a very good chance of, of making new all-time highs. And this is the 78% retracement, so they did it in a massive short squeeze. Um, if, if they get above it, really, I, I would say this is the make or break line right here because if, if they get above the 55.90, then the, the highs are going to be taken out or we're going to get tested, but that's still going to be another 70 points above. So th these are this is the support uh, resistance zone that the bears have to defend. If they don't, then we're, we're going to be testing or breaking these highs um what do they need to do to change the direction uh well 
they have a lot to do, actually, because they got themselves in these trouble. But the first one is going to have to get through the uh, this support right here, as well as this moving average. And this is just on the 15-minute chart, so it goes right around that 55.31 level. If they do that, then this is going to trigger the 15-minute into a sell signal. And support would come in anywhere between the uh, 54.82 and the 54.46. Now, if we start getting there, and we just take a look at the at the uh, at the 60 minute chart. So here is the you know we're right around that 55.25. So if this does break and we hit the support, we're going to have the the 60 minute that's going to be on a sell as well. But we don't really have any bearish divergences yet. So to me, what this is telling me is that the 15 minute has it. We're getting into that where it could roll into a sell signal pretty quickly. And if, if it does, what I'm anticipating is that this support, one of these support levels will hold. And, and from there, what will happen is we will then make come up and maybe test the, the 55.90 level. And from there, then get a, uh, a sell signal on the 60 minute chart, where now we can start, you know, we, we can start looking on the short side. So um, that's really about it. It's going to be really, really important for the, uh, you know, for, for the bears to, to get price through this first level right here, which is right around that 50, 55, uh, 32 level. And if they do, then we have to see how, how, uh, the, the bulls react that support. Are they going to try to defend this or are the bears going to be able to push it through? So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.